Hello and welcome in to the 2023 IdahoSports.com State Volleyball Tournament Preview Special Class 5A Edition. Brandon Bainey joined by our in-house volleyball expert, Lindsay togiai Afuk. Hello, Lindsay. Hi, guys. <laughs> Lindsay, of course, has been busy uh, coaching volleyball all season long uh, with Rockland High School, but also uh, every week she's been writing Keeping Up with the Kill, which has been such a great success. Everybody loves uh, checking it out every week because you bring that expertise that only a former player can. A uh, former uh, standout at Century High School and then played collegiately in Montana as well. So once again, thanks for all the hard work you do, Lindsay. We appreciate it. Thank you. It's fun. Anything volleyball is always fun for me. <laughs> It's a great way to give back to the game that you love so much. So True. here we are. It's the best weekend of the year, state tournament time. All of the state tournaments will be taking place up in North Idaho, including the 5A state tournament, which is being held at Lake City High School in Coeur d'Alene. Here is the bracket, Lindsay. If we take a look at it here, we've got uh, <clears throat> the, the number one seed, Madison. They'll play number eight, Thunder Ridge. Right above them is the four versus five district rivals here, Eagle and Hawaii. They know each other pretty well. And uh, then on the bottom of the bracket, we have number two, Coeur d'Alene, against number seven, Rocky Mountain. And then number three, Post Falls, against number six, Timberline. So looking at that bracket, Lindsay, what is the first thing that jumps out to you? Uh, I think they got tight competition this year. I mean, Madison, you know, we know pretty well because they're from, well, closer to where I'm from. Um, but... They're also the defending champs, but they did lose um, some key players last year, and they also got a new coach. Um, but again, they're still in the running. They've been ranked number one for a while now. Um, but I think it's going to be tight between them and Eagle and Coeur d'Alene and Post Falls. So to me, <laughs> it's going to be some fun, fun competition up there. Yes. So Madison comes in as the defending champions and yet pretty regularly throughout the year with our Idaho sports.com coaches poll, it has been Eagle. That's been ranked number one. And that's a team that you profiled on keeping up with the kill. What, what, <laughs> what makes Eagle so good? Um, so Eagle has again, a lot of seniors. I don't know what it is. There's a lot of teams in there with a lot of seniors. So with that being said, that just comes with a lot of experience. Um, you know, they can, not only help lead their team, but they know what state's like, they know what that pressure's like, they have they have that in their skill set. And, and I mean, it really comes down to that, you know, when you get in those pressureful moments against, you know, good competition, you just gotta be the one to not make the mistake, even though volleyball is a game of mistakes. <laughs> so, you know, you wanna be aggressive, but you know, with those teams, it's going to come back to their experience. But again, a lot of those teams are fully loaded with experience. <laughs> um, and Eagle, of course, has to play a familiar opponent right away in the first round. <laughs> oh, how hard is it to get slotted up against a conference rival right away? So that's something that I'm hoping maybe can change in the near future. Um, I just think, you know, you – you play each other so much during the season and then, you know, you have to win your district and then, you know, these rankings place us at where we're at, but then we get faced against a familiar face yet again. And it is so hard to be a team a third time, a fourth time. I mean, because, you know, you become so familiar with how they play, you know, then you start to strategize against that. So... Yeah, it's going to be a tough top half of the bracket. Eagle and Hawaii, of course, and then Madison taking on another district opponent in Thunder Ridge <laughs> right away as well. So it's all all in the family up top. Uh, and then on, on the bottom, this is the most interesting to me because I look at the four teams that are on the bottom of this bracket, Lindsay, and it wouldn't surprise me if any of them were playing on Saturday for a top three position. Right. Like I said, this, this, this one's tight for me. Um, I mean... A lot of those teams in there, well, I think both sides have some potential, again, with Eagle Madison and then Coeur d'Alene Post Falls. That, that's hard. <laughs> it's hard to say what's going to happen. And I think for them, too, you just you just keep preparing with the, the same mindset of it's going to be a battle. Can't overlook anything or anyone. Yeah, the team I wanted to really pick your brain on was Timberline. They come in as the number six seed, but this is no ordinary six seed. They got all the way to the championship last year before they right. lost to Madison, and they've got 10 seniors on this year's <laughs> team. 
<laughs> again, one of those teams. Um, yeah, and a lot of their players too are either looking to go on or are already signed to go on um, for college as well. So they're, you know, preparing for that next step. And in order to do that, you have to have teammates who can push you at that same level, which I think that they have. Um, it's just what comes with that is so does Madison, so does Post Ball. <laughs> So does a lot of those other teams. So they're gonna they're gonna face good competition, and then, you know, we'll we'll see what happens. That's why I'm like, oh, I <laughs> I'm interested to see. I don't know. Yeah, and of course, Coeur d'Alene and Post Falls on the same side of the bracket. Coeur d'Alene's the two seed. Post Falls is the three. Coeur d'Alene did beat Post Falls in a five set yeah. thriller to win yeah. uh, the district one and two title up north. But these two were very evenly matched all throughout the season. It's true, they were. And I mean, again, they just play each other so much that <laughs> they're probably like, oh, of course, we're on the same side of the bracket. You know, it's just, <laughs> it's just what happens. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, unfortunately. So, OK, let's take a look at this bracket here, Lindsay. I'm going to ask you to give me your dark horse, which team that's seated uh, outside of the top three, we'll say, which team is most intriguing to you that you think could go on the deepest run seeds four through eight? So I'm I'm gonna go with Timberline. <laughs> I think maybe they're a little bit under the radar and under in the rankings than actually where they are in reality. But I mean, they have you know played some of those top teams and lost to them. So I guess in that way it makes sense. But again, <laughs> they uh, they did it last year and they can probably do it again. So. Timberline is a great one for sure. I'm gonna go. Cr I'm gonna go really crazy here. I'm gonna go Thunder Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going way in. Thunder Ridge took last place in the district in the regular season. Lindsay, they came in as the number four seed out of four teams. They take sure. out Highland. They take out Rigby. They get to a state play and match. They win that as well. Yeah. How much? How much can a late season run like this cancel out what was kind of an up and down regular season? It's sure if they can, you know cancel out somehow their inconsistencies and they can keep going on what they're on right now, keep riding that momentum, then they could have a good run. Um, I know that they have a great coach, um, you know, who's coached at the collegiate level as well. And so I think she hopes to push them, you know, to see their potential yet um, because, you know, they've kind of rised in the past and then they've kind of been up and down ever since. Um, but I think, like you said, they're on a streak right now and they want to keep riding that. Yeah. That's my a really, really under the radar <laughs> underdog pick is Thunder Ridge. I just, I could see them playing on Saturday uh, for sure. Okay. Um, before I get your championship predictions, uh, we <laughs> wanted to go, we wanted to go over um, a player to watch from each team. These are our five, a players to oh. watch. It's not an exhaustive list. We just picked one from each team and okay. there were so many worthy candidates here. Lindsay. Oh yeah. But here's, that's a here's, lot. <laughs> Here's what we came up with with our 5A players to watch. Okay, we've got okay. Gia Jonke from Coeur d'Alene. Big okay. six -er, plays really well. Liv Manning from Eagle. Ashley Garner from Madison, one of the okay. few players with some experience coming back from last year. Mikhail right. Boy from Hawaii. She's, you know, 6'1", 6'2". Kylie yes. Sunday from Post Falls going to a D1 school. Aubrey yeah. Evans from Rocky Mountain. Uh, Hannah Powell from Thunder Ridge and Allie Cox of Timberline. Which which of these girls are you most excited to see compete at state? Oh, that's tough. Because uh, I actually, well, as you know, I did research into all, a lot of those girls. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, that's tough. I think I'm going to go with Ashley Garner, though, with Madison. Just because um, she is one of the only like seniors on that particular team and so it'll be interesting to see you know how her last year her last rides plays out and I want to you know see see how that goes with you know everything new coming out or all the you know younger players plus the new coach you know she's she's had a lot of challenges to overcome but she's been doing well yeah, and I would say the player I'm most excited to see is uh, Gia Jonke from Coeur d'Alene uh, okay. because she's playing in her home city. Uh, <laughs> she gets to sleep in her own bed. She gets to play in front of her hometown fans. I'm really excited to see what she can do, um, especially if they get matched up with Post Falls again, her versus uh, Kylie Monday. <laughs> be really good. Yes, uh, that'll be good. Yeah, that'll, well, I mean, it'll either be, you know, one way or the other. I mean, if she likes it that way or, you know, 
if the crowd doesn't matter. <laughs> oh yeah, I think the crowd is totally not even in the picture when when those two get together. They're so focused on the court. All right, back to the bracket here. Give me your championship prediction. Who do you got winning and who do you have taking second place? Oh man, this one's so tough, but I think I'm going to go with Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll put, okay. I'll put, I'll put, I'll put it back on the screen for you. There you go. Oh no, that's okay. I, I, <laughs> I've been thinking about this a lot of things <laughs> all week. It's um, all good. I think Madison and Eagle, even though they're on the same side of the bracket, you know, you can always find your way back around. And oh, I, I think that it's going to be a tough battle in the championship, but. And, you know, earlier in the, earlier in the season, um, Eagle has beaten Madison already, but the games were really close there as well. And I think, I don't know, I think Madison can do it. <laughs> okay, I like I like the confidence there, Madison to repeat. Um, I think it really could come down to whoever wins in that potential, you know, second match on Friday because whoever comes through the back door would have to win twice, which is tough, right? So it's really it tough. <laughs> could could come down to who wins between uh Madison and Eagle the first time the on first that time. side of the bracket. So uh I will go with Madison and Post Falls. Okay. I'll take I'll take the Trojans and I uh I, I like Post Falls. I don't know. I just have a feeling about Post Falls. <laughs> They're playing basically at home. Um they've been so close to breaking through uh so yeah. many times Lindsay, and i i don't know i just have a feeling about post falls what do you think i i mean i'm i'm not i'm not against that one i think i think that that may happen as well and i think that post falls has been playing you know consistent this year as well and they have you know they have the players to do it so it's gonna be tight <laughs> yes uh it should be a lot of fun for sure really um you know the top six are all very evenly matched and even Rocky and Thunder Ridge at seven and eight are, are capable of springing an upset or two. So this, this is going to be a really fun five, a state volleyball tournament. Again, this is taking place at Lake city high school in Coeur d'Alene yes. uh, Friday and Saturday. All right, Lindsay, thanks for breaking down the five, a brackets for us. We appreciate it. Good luck girls. <laughs>